Okay, so I want to make this video about high chairs and my solution to purchasing a high chair. I had everything bought that I needed to buy for the child that I'll be placed with that I could get so far. However, I realized that I forgot to get a high chair. So I went to Target and I found an amazing solution. That's what this video is going to be all about. Okay, so I'm like walking through Target looking at high chairs and I was walking down the aisle and I saw this like high chair that was in a box and it's portable, which I love things like that. Like I would rather have one thing that I could set up in the home and like take, if I go somewhere and I need it with me, I can just pack it up and go with it. And I found this high chair right here. It's called pocket snack portable booster seat okay so it's a booster seat technically um so i already opened this bad boy up and i'm just amazed it's so cute okay so first off it's got three different levels here so you can do so you can have it flat all the way on the ground if you have like a little baby that needs to sit in it or you can not on the ground, like on the table. Or you can put it on a chair and you could strap it to the back of the chair and there's these different levels. There's three positions, okay? So like a flat, medium, and a higher if you, that would be for the baby. The one all the way on the bottom would be for a toddler. Kind of like this little guy sitting in the chair here. So yeah, so a toddler, you would just have like a slight booster and put it flat on the lowest level, sits on the chair, and there you go. I'm gonna show you guys this and what it looks like on the chair. So I already opened this thing up. Oh my God, it's so cute. Okay, so I've already taken this out of the box. Put this over here. And this is the booster seat, okay? So this thing is so cute. First off, it's not super, like super light. It definitely, it's not heavy, but it's not super light either, which I like because that way it feels way more sturdy. The tray obviously comes off. There's a part where you can hook your child in, and then you just snap this on like so. But it's not the easiest thing to get on. I don't want to break it. There we go. There you go. These rubber feet here are true. Like, like it's not, it's not going. Obviously, it'll tip, but it's not going anywhere. It's good, um, and it's just super cute. Like, I really like it. Now, on the bottom is this little thing you would jigger here, and if you pull that or push it, I'm sorry. How do you push it? I just did it a little bit ago. Wait, wait, I'll figure this out. Hold on, I'll figure this out. There we go. You push it down and it'll go to each level. Oh my gosh, this is like not fun. There we go. Okay, I figured it out. Oh, okay. That's the base level. Okay, that's the base. Man, that was too much work. Okay. Definitely not as like stable though, by any means. But this is just on the counter. We're gonna go put it on the table on the chair in a minute. So that's like just the counter. If you wanna raise it as they get older, here we go with this thing again. So you're gonna press this down, and then you're gonna do that. That's level one. Level one. You can see that? Okay. Here's, let's go to level two. Push that down. No. Here we go. That's level two. And there are little markings. It's very hard to see. But there's little, like, 
Never mind, I can't do it. You can see it there. Go one, two, three. That's level two. Okay. And then let's do three. Down. Wait, down. Yeah, this is not easy. That's level two. This thing is not very fun, but I mean, I think once it's up, it's good. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. That was just too much work. Too much work. Okay, so now I'm gonna try and put this on the chair to see what it's like. So I am going to be fostering a newborn to the age of one. So we're definitely not gonna use it on the lowest setting because if it was on the lowest setting, it would just be too low. So I'm gonna put it on three. Let's see if we can do this a little more gracefully this time. So press down and okay, so that's level two. That's level one. I mean, no, level three. That was nice. It was easier. Okay. So now we're going to take this bad boy. See, this is level three. Like, it's, it's like just right at the tabletop, which is awesome. And we're going to take these. We're going to give that space. And we're going to come under here. And... Catch it tight there, so that's nice and tight, just like that. Okay, here we go. And then this back one, I'm gonna go here, and on the back like so. Boom! Pull that nice and tight. There we go. That baby's not going, baby, literally. Not going anywhere. Anywhere. Yeah, that's me. Hi. And there's a little safety belt harness thing in here that you can hook the child up to as well. So that's great. And this comes off like so. And I mean, I'll probably just like leave this sitting here, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, we did it. Okay, so now let's take it off and fold it up and see what it's like to carry. So, we're gonna get rid of these here and this. Take it off of here, fold this up. So I've already taken off this sucker. Press down, fold down, and uh -huh, we're getting the hang of that. And then, for all of this, there are these two little buttons here. One here, one here, you're just gonna Excuse me, you're just gonna push that down just like so. Here's the only thing I don't like is that gets in the way. So now, they're supposed to be like a little, I guess if you do this, you can like, this is what it does in the picture on the box. I guess that works. I don't know. But here's the thing, what about this sucker? Oh! Okay, so this comes out, this part here comes off, which putting it on was really difficult, so I can only imagine taking it off is even more difficult. I'm not wanting to feel like I'm gonna break it. See? Oh, I have some reviews on this sucker when I'm done with it. Like, this is like, how is someone... Oh my God. Oh, this is stressful. So if I do that, or is it like that? No. If I try to reattach this to travel with, there we go, baby. There we go. And then that piece that just fell is supposed to go, like where am I gonna put that? This piece, this is what goes in between their leg. Where do we put this? In the baby bag? Okay, so here's my thoughts on this. This sucker is good. It's good. It's great. It's very sturdy. So this is probably, probably five pounds, honestly. Yeah, maybe about five to seven pounds. Maybe five pounds. It's a good, it's good. I like it. I'm going to use it. I'm going to keep it. 
It was about $35, I think, at Target. And, but here's the problems. You guys saw me struggle a lot with this. Everything on this thing takes a lot of effort. It's not like plug and play. It's, it's a lot of effort to snap it in and yada, yada, yada. But other than that, this thing's pretty good. Like, if you don't mind the, the, the strength it's gonna take to put, set it up and take it down, I say get this. But if you want something that's literally like, like, boom, it's open and done, don't buy this. But other than that, like this is sturdy and I would have no fears having a child sit in there. That's it. That's, um, that's what I think about this little pocket snack booster seat thing. I like it because you can travel, you can move, move around with it. You can take it to family's place, a friend's place, and your child can have somewhere to sit. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.